Okay, so let me kind of explain what we want to try to accomplish in this lab. So in the physics lab, we'll have a table that's up, upright, and you'll find that there'll be a ruler that is um, fastened to the top of the table. And what, what, what you're going to do in this lab is you're going to pull this ruler back to create potential energy. We're going to what we're going to do is you're going to have a, a ping pong ball that's at the top of that ruler and as you pull it back of course you're going to have energy and you let it go that ball will travel something like this outward and it will be your task to figure out how far from the base of the table it goes to where it actually lands and so, I just remind, of you, remind you of a few things that would apply here. Um, if we talk, think about energy, and when we pull this uh, ruler back right here, it has potential energy. So, you're going to pull back a certain distance, x, and uh, don't confuse it with this delta x here. Those are two separate values. If you pull it back a distance x, you should be able to calculate how much potential energy that you have. This would be elastic potential energy. So it would follow that equation. And then think about the law of conservation of energy here. That potential energy uh, will be transferred to kinetic as it, it swings forward and, and becomes vertical. So when it becomes vertical, you'll have uh, some kinetic energy which is one-half mass velocity squared. So the law of conservation of energy would say that that potential energy at the start would equal the kinetic energy at the end. And uh, you'd need what part of that would you need to help you figure out how far it's going to land? You'll have to kind of figure that out. Um, uh, once, once you figure out what that velocity is upon leaving, that velocity would be right here, v. Then you could use your kinematic equation. It's been a long time since we've used those to help you figure out how far it's going to land. A couple of kinematic equations that would be useful would be delta y is equal to uh, 1 half g t squared, t being the time in the air, and then also the x uh, distance would be followed by this kinematic. The horizontal position would be equal to the horizontal velocity multiplied by how long it's in the air. So you could use this delta y equation to help you find how long it's going to be in the air. Notice you're going to have to find out what delta y is through direct measurement. And then you're going to find, and that will be the time that you use in your delta x equation. And your velocity, you can get up here through um, through your conservation of energy. Another equation that will be helpful to help you find K in the uh, elastic potential energy equation would be Hooke's Law, that the force of the spring is equal to K times X. So you'll have to choose your X value, but that will allow you to find K is just taking the force that it takes to stretch that spring and divide it by how far it stretches. With that information, you should be able to plan how you're going to proceed and do that 